about what children really need to succeed in the 21st century. What should school be for? Why do we have brains? To produce adaptable and complex movements. You're not a human being, you're a human doing. Movement is really the only way that we can affect the environment around us. Sit in your chair, don't move, be quiet, listen to what I'm saying. We give them tests. School is way more boring than when you were there. Student learning is passive. When a measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. These forces have destroyed education in country after country around the world. The best we can say about PISA rankings is that they are useless. To be successful takes creativity, flexibility, self-control, and discipline. Central to all of those are executive functions. And movements are clues about development, including the development of their executive functions. I mean, Dr. Montessori was really a genius. She knew that there was a link between movement and cognition. So what Montessori education does, it provides a sensory motor training ground. You have to use conscious intentional control when the situation is unlike anything you've ever experienced before or when you're confronted by a new problem. They get their content, they get their science, they get their math, they get their English, they get their history, they get amazing history. And I love in Montessori that they even learn to sew. And finally, that the Montessori children regarded their schools as uh, much more of a community than the children did in the conventional schools. The longer children stay in Montessori, the more complex their actions become. We're not teaching to the test, but somehow we do better on the test. And no, it's not a dusty old uh, pedagogy, right? It's actually cutting edge. Thank you all for coming tonight. It's been yeah, great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.